Hey everyone, Ken Surfs here. It's Thursday lunchtime and we are here in the shave den and it's time to do another shave. Well, the folks at Global Shave Club, they've been releasing a lot of razors over the last few years and they have come out with another one. This one is called the Hurricane and here it is. I'm gonna be trying it for the first time today. It's got a really nice long handle the handle is stainless steel, it's probably plated, and the head is noble brass. I think it weighs in, at, uh, if I recall my homework here, I think 4.2 ounces. It's a heavy handle, and it's a, a nice long handle, and it's knurled so you can get some good grip on it when your hands are wet. It's the typical head, a mild head. Very mild head, it looks like. And I'm told from the spec sheet that out of an aggressiveness of 5.0 being the most aggressive, this comes in at about a 2.5. So I'm gonna be trying this out for the first time today. And I'm gonna be trying, since it's a mild razor, I'm gonna be trying one of my favorite blades, which is the Wilkinson Sword Gillette. And I did notice on their website, they, they recommend this as one of their blades. They recommend about five different blades with it, but uh, I'm gonna be trying this today. I'm gonna to be, uh, I didn't have this in the photo at the beginning, but you know, uh, you can tell I've got uh, uh, some growth going on. So I'm gonna use some True Fit and Hill, True Fit and Hill, uh, pre-shave oil. My favorite Taylor Vol Bond Street uh, soap, grapefruit. And I was happy to receive an email from F Fine, uh, Fine Accoutrements that uh, their Italian citrus is back in stock. This is the old school bottle, see? And they've been out for a while, but I'm told that they are back in stock with this. So we're gonna be using this today. So let's get the shave started. How are you guys doing? Have you had a good week? It's been about a week since I've seen you, as you can tell. <laughs> Got to go back to the office for the first time in a few years. We're doing a couple of days in the office and the rest of the time telecommuting. So uh, it was very interesting to go back. I wore a mask, uh, not all the time, but you know, to get from the parking lot to my uh, desk. And it was uh, very nice to be back. Okay, there's no overhang on this at all. Zero overhang. Some of the other similar heads had a little bit of an overhang. This one does not. So you can see the blade doesn't quite go all the way to the edge. So you have a lot of safety about not catching yourself on the side of the blade or anything. All right, let's put some oil on. Probably should wet my face first, but, uh, and this bottle is solid, so there's no, there's no squeezing that uh, oil out of there. Mm. Smell citrusy anyhow. <laughs> Very good. Put a little more on. A little more on, not a little more on, because I cut myself here all the time. There we go. All right, now. Sweat the face. I've got uh, the Ken Surf's uh, 2019 brush here. Let me put it in the crystal skull for a second to get it ready to rock. And this is a harder version of the soap. It either just dried up a little hard, but I'm gonna just uh, whip it right up in here. I don't have to do a face lather, which is nice. All right. <laughs> you can tell it's my favorite soap and I'm almost completely out of it. So I'm gonna have to go over to uh, Absolutely fabulous over here in Huntington Beach. I'm gonna have to buy me another another uh, tub. Oh yeah, man, look at this. Probably had too much water in that. Yeah, probably too much water. Here we go. I had a premise for another video coming up, but I didn't know if I should do it or not. Uh, I'm an average Joe. I, I've probably wore the same style of shoes for the last 20 years, dress shoes. 
and uh, I just had a birthday, turned 60, got some gift cards. My wife says, why don't you go out and buy yourself a nice, expensive, good pair of shoes? She doesn't like my uh, Stacy Adams uh, slip-ons. So uh, I thought, eh, all right, why not? Might make some good content for the channel. And I ended up going, I've never in my life set foot in a Gucci store until uh, last week where I picked up some Gucci loafers. And I picked up the loafers because I found out, you know, I'm a James Bond fan. And Roger Moore in four of his video or movies wore Gucci loafers. So I thought, hey, why not? So I was thinking about doing a video on that. I brought the camera into the store. I didn't realize they were gonna go nuts, you know, if I was filming, but I got some footage. And I was gonna do a, an unboxing and kind of show you if you think that's something you'd like to see. But I've never seen or wore those type of expensive shoes before, so I'm floating whether I should do a video on it or not. But let me know in the comments. Can't hurt, you just don't have to watch if you're not interested. All right. I'm liking what I'm feeling so far. Mailman's here. My dog is letting me know. Let me pause. It's the gardener. We hired a gardener. My wife says, you're too old. I'm too old to do uh, the lawn. So I'm still doing the backyard. But uh, we, we hired a professional for the front. And that's the uh, first week here and my dog is going nuts. All right, Sheldon, it's shaving pretty good, my friend. And it's it's a heavy, good, a nice, heavy razor. And I believe the price point's coming in under 30 bucks. Now, some of his other razors he has manufactured in a plant he has in Pakistan. I'm not sure where this one is from. It didn't say in my spec sheet when I was reading it, but uh, it'd be nice to find out. And he's still working on his toggle, Gillette toggle replica. That's probably a little more complicated piece of machinery than the normal DE razor. Man, that shaving oil really did help. There, see, I would not need another pass on this. But let's do it. All right. Yeah, look, man, I'm down to the bare bottom of this thing. The bare bottom. I don't know what the temperature is where you gents are at, but it is in the 90s today. I think it's 95, so uh, it's very strange. We're still in April, and we're getting, you know, extremely hot temperatures. But so far, no fires, thank goodness. Man, I love this grapefruit. Probably one of my absolute favorite Taylor of Old Bond Street. Got too much soap on my hands there. Yeah, and the knurling is grippy. There we go. Yeah, it was very, very weird walking into uh, one of those high-end stores. I mean, I've been into Rolex before. I've been into Omega. Oh, watch check. Omega Planet Ocean, as seen where uh, with, uh, where's Daniel Craig? Daniel Craig, but he didn't have the orange uh, bezel. I think he had the black. I haven't had lunch yet, man. I've had a few coffees this morning and I uh, can feel that caffeine, as you can see. No. Yep, got a bit of the shakes, man. The old days, I used to do a 44 ounce big gulp from 7 uh, Eleven every day before work. And then I, you know, said, ah, you know what? I should just do coffee, but just as bad. <laughs> 
Since this Hurricane Razor had just been released, I'm sure some of the other YouTubers have videos on them. I just haven't watched them yet. That way I don't take ideas or I come up with my own conclusion. All right. Well, no issues at all. Got the little dimple in the bottom there. No issues with this at all. And it gave a very, very nice shave and no cut. So is it the razor that didn't cut me, my razor blade combo, or the addition of the uh, pre-shave oil? Who cares, as long as you get a good shave, right? All right. Oh. Fine, Italian citrus. Remember when all the old bottles used to look like this? Even uh, Phoenix Artisan hands are wet you know now they're all like square makes for easy stacking that's for sure okay here we go oh wow wow very nice now, i don't look like grizzly adams anymore people under 50 are going who's grizzly adams look it up used to be a tv show in the 70s very good all right no problem here, doggone uh, efficient razor, no issues at all. Links to the razor and links to some of the products I've used in here, you can find in the description of the video. Really do enjoy, uh, appreciate, and I enjoy doing these videos and I appreciate you watching. I know there's a lot of choices out there, but uh, thank you very much for watching. Please stay safe and I look forward to seeing you in another video very, very soon. In fact, I'm going to Disneyland this weekend for my birthday a belated birthday. Uh, my daughter's taking me, so maybe I'll get some footage there too. All right, everybody. Till next time. Have a great night.